Hello everyone. Welcome back for more. Let's play You Don't Know Jack Mach 2. A single player. Thank you. Gameplay functions as follows. When you have located the correct answer, you are already familiar with the roles. Excellent. We will yeah. begin immediately. I'm familiar with a lot of solo once. play activities. This category is once, twice, three times a nudie. You get it right, I'm giving you one thousand dollars. Oh, I know, I know. It's the all nude episode, and you're a little jumpy, finding it hard to concentrate, right? Well, I'll tell you what, I'll make it easy on you. We'll break the rules this time, and I'll let you choose between three questions to answer. Okay? What's the 19 the 19 album by the Talking Heads? Or what's the 1993 movie directed by Mike Lee? Or what's the 1996 book of stories by David Sedaris? Nude, naked, stripped, or bare? Never heard of any of them. You know, I'm starting to think you might still have your clothes on because if you didn't, you might have been reminded of this. The answer to each of those questions is naked. And if I may be allowed a brief moment of self-promotion, naked is also the title of my memoir, which will be hitting the shelves just in time for the holidays. When you think Schmitty, think stocking stuffer. Awfully small stocking. The category's gonna be a place not in France where the naked ladies dance. And this one's worth $1,000. Eyes forward, we're going. Suppose you go to a Gaza strip club. What type of currency should you stuff into the stripper's G-strings? Jordanian dinars, British pounds, Israeli new shekels, or Turkish lira? Well, considering... The Gaza strip technically belongs to Israel. And I'll tell you, those clubs are great. There are no rules. The women take off everything. Well, except for their veils. Some religious reason or something. I don't know. I don't think Israelis have veils. I'm calling dude. this one what Ms. Jackson really means by Maybe control. Maybe they do. $1,000 at stake I don't think on this so, one. Though. Okay, free your mind. Suppose Janet Jackson's famous Rolling Stone cover photo starts a fashion trend. How would the Janet Jackson bra be advertised? Supports, lifts, comes attached to a man. Cushions, protects, sings like a canary. Enhances, separates, plays fetch. Or cups, firms, keeps coffee hot. Yeah, she had a guy holding her. On her famous Rolling Stone cover, Janet's got a guy behind her with his hands on her breasts. And you know what? I'm thinking that guy got paid to do that. Yeah, and people think models are stupid. This one's called No Shirt, No Shoes, No Pants. You get it right, you get 2K. Pencils ready, let's do it. Given what school the infamous naked guy attended, where might the other students take extra time wiping the desk chairs before sitting down? Massachusetts Institute of Technology, University of Wisconsin, Madison, University of California, Berkeley, or University of Notre Dame? I recall that being California. The student who made himself famous a few years back for walking around campus in the buff went to UC Berkeley. <laughs> Although I don't think he was ever totally naked. I seem to remember reading that he always wore a veil. Religious reasons or something, I don't know. Could be. Look alive, this one's a when did happen. All right, oh, you think you know how to play. Well, far be it from me to argue. This when did happen goes by. Yeah, I know how. Liberally. You know, maybe that naked guy from Berkeley isn't just making a political statement. Maybe he's actually forgotten how to get dressed. Tell you what, just to be on the safe side, let's make sure you remember how to do it. Having said that, here's your main statement. Put on your underwear. Now, is this supposed to happen before you put on your skivs, after you put them on, or should it never happen at all? Never, but I know the answer's after. Probably much further after the process. I would hope. Well, I could do that after. Drive to work. Let's go with after. Soap up your you know what. Never. Gaze fondly. Let's not do that. Ah. Really? Except let's not do that one either. 
I'd rather not gaze fondly at myself, right, though. Let's see how it turned out. You know. Nice job, my friend. Let's see how that affects the big picture. So, what do you say we get on with it? Six. Coming at you. There's more than one way to roll naked in chocolate, and this one's going to be worth no, $3,000. There isn't. Hey, you got your peanut butter in my chocolate. Oh, yeah? Well, you got your peanut butter in my chuck chocolate. Or mm, however that thing went. You know what commercial I'm talking about, right? If instead of, instead of using a random piece of chocolate in their commercials, Reese's uses the performance artist who's known for smearing her naked body in chocolate, what would you hear? You got chocolate on my peanut butter. You got peanut butter on my Karen Finley, on my Annie Sprinkle, on my Kate Bush, or on my Lori Anderson. I have no idea. That counts as performance art? Really? Well, that left a bad taste in my mouth. Karen Finley, a controversial performance artist, is known for her lawsuit against the NEA and for smearing chocolate on her naked body. How do I eat a Reese's? By tasting the injustice and depravity that this country forces down my throat because I'm a woman. And then I eat the peanut butter. Uh -huh. Seven. Well, next, History of Art 101, Naked Chicks. How does $2,000 sound? Whoa, check out this auction catalog from Sotheby's. Man, I'm telling you, if you could see these pictures, you'd... <clears throat> I'll read you the caption. Item 23, a tender appreciation of the female form by practitioners of the earliest practical photographic method. These pictures will be sure to arouse and delight. <laughs> Now, what's up for auction? Raunchy lithographs, filthy daguerreotypes, naughty stereoscopics, or kinky tint types. I'm pretty sure they could chisel it in stone. Lithographs? Yeah, no, no, sorry, these lithographs are definitely not photographs. But they are raunchy. <laughs> Yowza, daddy needs his auction paddle. <coughs> Here's the one the winners pick. The daguerreotype, invented by Frenchman Louis Daguerre, was the earliest practical method of photography. And like any new technology, <laughs> the first pictures were of naked women. Hey, which reminds me, you want to see some really saucy cat scans? Eight. So let's just talk about pure cameras. Call. Today okay. is the first J of the rest of your life. Two thousand bucks for a correct answer. Okay, so if I were to describe myself as being naked as a jaybird right now, you'd know what I was talking about, right? Don't look away. Roughly. If you were simultaneously being compared to a jaybird, Jay Hawkins, and a Jayhawk, how would you appear? Naked doing a monologue with a big chin. Naked doing advanced physics and flightless. Naked hiding penis and eating fish. Or naked screaming and rooting for KU. Yeah, KU are the Jayhawks. Musician Jay Hawkins is known as Screamin' Jay Hawkins, and the Kansas mascot is the Jayhawk. And you? You'd be carted off in a van with rubber walls. They didn't Unless do too well. Unless it's an autumn Saturday in, the, uh, in March Kansas. Madness this year. Hmm. Nine. The category is stitches can make a fashion statement. I'm gonna make this one a thousand bucks. And now your question. If you want to make your birthday suit a double-breasted birthday suit, what will you have to sew to your naked body? Two rows of buttons, two extra Ow. lapels, two breast pockets, or a dicky? Ow. A lapel. Huh, you know, I was wondering why you had that extra flap of skin. I thought it was some sort of evolutionary residue. Well, that'll make an exciting story, won't it? A suit is considered double-breasted when it's got that extra row of buttons. And if you get those huh. special buttons that look like nipples, you can suckle a bunch of piglets. Well, let, let's not try that. Ten. This category is what I got, I got to give it to your mama. And this one's worth $3,000. Forward March. Considering what the Red Hot Chili Peppers used to cover their privates on the cover of the Abbey Road EP, which affliction could their genitals most likely contract? Dandruff, athlete's foot, frostbite, or poison ivy rash? Yeah, they use, like, full caps. Hey, dandruff is only a problem if you use a black knit toilet seat. I thought it was a Nick Could have given you some cash if you picked this one. The Red Hot Chili Peppers appeared on their Abbey Road EP wearing socks over their huh. not particularly private parts. Well, huh, I don't feel nearly so weird about putting condoms on my toes. 
I hope you're paying attention because it's time for a coinky dink. How this okay, thing works. come closer. I'll show you how this thing works. You're gonna get a bunch of different. Hey, I'll bet you've done this before. Fine with yep. me. The category for this coinky dink is I'm buck naked. And who are you? You got it? I hope so, cause we're rolling. Jeffrey Rush movie and to polish. What do these two things have in common? Jeffrey Rush. Blank like an Egyptian and four balls in baseball. Shine and walk. Things with moon in them. Gymnast balance on it and Jim Blank whiskey. Beam. Yep, things with moon. Reporter Phillips at 14 pounds. Not too heavy and not too dark. Light. American Blank and Trivial Pursuit Piece. Hi. Come on. Actor Phoenix, Phoenix, and a blank runs through it. River. River. I don't all know. Alright, let's the go for the bonus. What do the correct answers have in common? Are they all skin creams? Privates. Underwear styles. Porno flicks. Words that come after me. You got it. Nice job. Hey, be sure to show off those dimples in your cheeks when you smile. Great job. You want to add that bonus too? Player one, you're a winner all around. How Could about be, that? Could be, you know, talking Let's about craters too. That face has for sure those. Category is going to be My Angel is Glossy and Airbrushed. Get this one right, you get a grand. Okay, listen closely and get ready to figure out this lyrical analogy. The breakup song is to uh 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 as centerfold is to humbly to say to Moya do 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 da 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 na 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 or giddy up a oom bop a oom bop a mau mau na 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 the breakup song by the Greg Kinn band had the refrain uh 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 and the Jay Giles band centerfold featured choruses of na 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 ad nauseum. Which pretty much describes what I'd sound like if I actually met a naked centerfold. Uh 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 na 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 did it did it do ah ah ah. I'm calling this one X marks the pornos. Three thousand dollars for the Usually this one. yes okay, it so, does. You know I hear people talk and I've heard this rumor going around that there are actually porno movies that are rated triple X. <laughs> Can you believe that? Anyway, tell me this. How might a pornographic film featuring actors with Kleinfelter syndrome be rated? X Y X X Y X Y Y or Y Y Y? Oh, which one do they get extra of? Kleinfelter syndrome results when a male is born with an extra X chromosome, which, after puberty, can cause breast development and an inability to produce sperm. <laughs> which usually means you're not going to get as many money shots. True. This one's called Gentlemen Prefer Whole People. I got two thousand dollars. Says you don't know this one. Hey, I bet you didn't As know that Marilyn half half. Monroe was Playboy's first nude centerfold, huh? Yeah, I got a copy of it right here. Imagine that when Playboy's Marilyn Monroe centerfold picture was folded in half, her actual measurements were cut in half. What would be her new numerical description? 12, 16, 12, 18, 12, 18, 20, 20, 20, or 42, 26, 38? I'm pretty sure she was 36, 24, 36. Ms. Monroe's measurements were 36, 24, 36, so her cut in half centerfold would make her 18, 12, 18. Make another fold. Right here, make another little twisty thing here, and voila! A Maryland paper crane! Happy birthday, Mr. President! <laughs> you
you've all won. Well, someone's in a big hurry to get to the attack. I wonder if you could find the time to look at this clue. Nothing beats a little T and A. At least that's what about a lot of T and A? Philosophy at the video store. And uh, that note. Redhead songstress. Okay. Steve Martin movie. I'm going to just have to wait till these pop up and guess. Stage honor? Tony Awards. Isn't it? Yeah, this is Tony. Totally awesome. Actually, that would be Tel Aviv. Brody to the max would almost fit this, but not quite. Awesome cartoonists. Dreamy 1960 hits. That's the game. Player one, I couldn't have done a better job myself because I wouldn't have played by myself. I would have found something else to do, you know? Now, but seriously, player one, and uh, this isn't easy for me to say. Well, a rocky start, but a strong finish. Thank you all for joining me. I will see you back next time for more You Don't Know Jack Mock 2. As always, I leave you with the commercials. Hello, Mr. Smith? Yeah? About that kidney transplant you're waiting for. Uh-huh. Now you can charge it, because I've got a pre-approved credit card with your name on it. Boy, that would be great. Sign me up. Cold calling can be hard, but the Telemarket 2000 makes it easy. Simply type in a name, and the Telemarket prints out personal information about the people you're calling. Hello? Mrs. Johnson? Yeah? I know you're going through a painful divorce. Who is this? And nothing can take your mind off a lousy, cheating husband like some beautiful aluminum siding. <gasps> really? Do you think so? Oh, go ahead. Do the whole house. <laughs> the Telemarket 2000. Let us help you get your foot in the door before it's slammed in your face. Right. He's America's number Brain. one zombie recording Brain. artist. Brain. He's inspired millions Brain. with his words and his voice. Brain. And now, available for the first time on Compact Disc, you can get all of Zombie Lou's greatest hits, including the heartfelt My Brain Done Left Me. Rainy Day Romance. And the unforgettable classic Rain for the Holidays. You and your loved one will want to listen to this CD again and again as Zombie Lou sings his way into your hearts. Copies are limited, so order now. Just send $15.95 to the gravestone underneath the old oak tree, St. Peter's Cemetery, New York, New York. GMFC introduces the Giganto, the ultimate sports utility vehicle. Man, this is one smooth ride. I can drive over potholes, railroad tracks, foreign compact cars, homeless people sleeping on the street, and I don't even feel a thing. Not even remorse. The new GMFC Giganto makes defensive driving a thing of the past. I used to be more cautious when I took my kids to soccer practice, but since I drive the GMFC Giganto, I'm not so worried about paying attention when I drive. I can put on my lipstick, call the girls in my book club, catch a nap. Safety of Giganto drivers is GMFC's number one concern. This car is safe for me and my family. I mean, it's one giant mother freaking car. With the added height of the GMFC Giganto, it's almost impossible to see the car surrounding you. It kind of makes you feel like you're the only one on the road, you know? Think you can't afford to drive the GMFC? Giganto, you can't afford not to. It's one giant mother freaking car.
Mom, Billy's wearing my panties again. Oh, honey, what did you do to this coffee? I don't hate Dad. I just hate you. Well, that's not how I dart a fox. Oh, I can't take it anymore. Sure you can. All it takes is his little turquoise pill, Mother's Little Helper. Ah, uh, Mother's Little Helper. Mom, the dog's humping the cat again. That's nice, darling. Mother's Little Helper may cause severe cramps, loss of appetite, random nosebleeds, upper thigh acne, anal weeping, electric fields of up to 12 volts, ingrown toenails, pubic hair discoloration, withering of the kidneys, tennis elbow, varicose veins, disintegration of the heart, fallen arches, premature ejaculation, night blindness, liver implant, Explosion, epileptic fits, and scurvy in over 24% of users.